A lot of people have this way of comparing themselves with others and they think that they don't have something while somebody else has it and let me just you know give you an example so that just to make the whole context easy assume that you have been working really hard toiling every single day and now you want to strengthen your relationship with your partner so what you do you plan a trip you want to go out somewhere so that you have your own personal space and you can get to know each other more and you spend few lakhs over there let's assume maybe five lakhs and once you have done that let's say you went out for a month's trip and then got back and then you see that a couple of your friends have gotten a car and somebody else purchased some small property something has happened and you look at your own bank balance and you think ha huh, I don't have anything. That's absolutely not true because you do have something. One thing that I would like to remind you is that money is a tool to exchange a good. It it itself does not have any value. It it has zero intrinsic value. You exchange it to get something and you have done that. You basically did exchange it to strengthen your relationship. So what you have now is probably something the other people will not have. Whereas for somebody else, maybe their priority is work, maybe it's about earning money, maybe having possession. If that is what it is, it is up to them. The point is it's not that you don't have anything. Do not compare yourself so directly with somebody else who is around you. Rather compare it with where you have done the expenditure and what you got in return. <laughs> the gas is farting. <laughs> seems like they are repairing everything there's been a power cut from morning and uh, the internet is not working as well the office see look at that and I really really think these guys who are cutting off who are just basically trimming off the tree, I think they might have cut down the uh, internet wire as well. Oh man, this is going to take some time now for them to come and fix. Oh, how do I fucking connect? I have an important meeting, I gotta connect in half an hour. How do I connect now? Chandan? I think I'll just have to try it with my mobile internet, which again sucks. <laughs> My meeting is actually going on outside. Yeah, and, and I was the here is in a meeting as well. And uh, you know that he's talking, right? On the day, and that was in my mind. See. Uh, Is basically a butterfly. So I always wanted to own a butterfly knife, so I got this one. But this seems too tight, you know. I mean, it's supposed to flip like this. If I do this, it just doesn't flip properly. So I still probably have to figure this out. There is some particular drunk guy shouting the names. People trimming the trees, right? Look at this.
Okay, you can see the I mado. Oh. Oh. still not back. And by the way, whenever I feel even a little bit of disturbance in my throat and if I feel that uh, th th there are some scratches that are happening, I immediately take honey. Honey just has this ability to just fire things up. I mean, actually try it. The next time, you know, you go out, you have some dust in your throat, you come back and just take a little bit of honey. You can actually feel the warmth around your throat. And it's just really, really, you know, um, impressive the way it can solve a lot of problems. And finally, Power is here. And I've been having a chat with my brother regarding certain management and things. So Navit and I have been, you know, discussing certain management scenarios. And I keep trying to tell him because, you know, he has never uh, had a management role and now he finds it difficult to tell people to, you know, ask people to do their job. So that's the problem now. And a lot of people who used to work as a peer with him, they find it hard to just report to him. And the idea is, you know, to become anything for that matter. I'm not necessarily saying that, you know, just to become smart or anything. You need to have certain qualities and only those people deserve to keep moving forward. If, uh, you know, there are people who are going to question your authority, being that, you know, you are a manager, they are going to just keep questioning your authority and saying that, why should I, you know, tell you anything? Why should I do this? Why don't you do this? And all this stuff, unless it's a proper, logical, rational discussion, I don't think you should allow people to just walk all over you because, I mean, they are going to take you for granted. And I don't mean to say that you've got to be rude to them. Definitely not. That's not what I mean. But when they are rude to you, you can't just be okay with it. If somebody is telling you that, hey, you know, why should I report to you? That is them being rude to you. You don't have to justify your position. So, you know, you would have taken certain responsibilities to your higher management. And accordingly, you are asking other people to report to you so that you can manage it. So that's the idea behind it. But if they are going to question your authority, that's them basically being rude. I would say give it back. I think what happened with Arnab was really, really, you know, genius sort of a thing that happened with him. They were, the authorities were completely atrocious and they were way out of their line. And this all happened. I mean, everybody knows that this was all political propaganda that was happening and it's all done internally. There were so many commandos. There, were, there, there was a person who was an encounter specialist and they were carrying AK-47s. They were, they were carrying basically rifles and all. That's such an overkill to just go get a journalist.